In this short study, I'd like to talk about the issue of faith. And over the years, as I have studied my Bible, um, I have found that the issue of faith is not as simple as it appears to be uh, in the Bible. And it's also uh, true of church teaching, uh, the confessions, and what theologians have taught over the centuries. Now, one of the things that I had discovered uh, maybe about 20 years ago uh, is that we are justified by the faith of Christ. Now, um, it's commonly believed uh, and held by theologians and by the churches that we are justified by believing, that it's through our faith that is an instrument in our justification. And, um, but that is not taught in the Bible. And one of the, the passages that talk about being justified by the faith of Christ is Galatians 2.16, uh, where we read, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ. See, there's the genitive. Even we have believed in Jesus Christ that we might be justified by the faith of Christ, there's the genitive, and not by works of the law, for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Now, the genitive is a possessive. It's Christ's faith. And here we have a clear passage which talks about that. Um, we have also another passage in Romans 3, verse 22, where we read, For all, for all have, uh, rather, even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ, even unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. Now, what, here again, we read of the genitive, faith of Christ. The righteousness of God is through the faith of Christ. Now, if you read in a modern version, like the NIV or any other modern version, it will normally be translated as faith in Christ. And just to let you know, that is a very incorrect translation. And that is not correct. It's faith of Christ. Now, um, years ago, I had asked my pastor on this, because I know that he is very good in the Greek. And he said, yes, it is a genitive. It's a possessive. But he said that uh, you're not to understand it that way. Now, I never really followed up on what he meant by that. But basically, I got the answer that I wanted, uh, that I needed to hear. Now, um, given that, uh, I can show from the scriptures that we are to see it that way, that we are to see the genitive as a possessive, that it is by Christ's faith that we are justified. This is not really hard Bible study. It's actually pretty easy. Now, we read... Um, in Galatians 3, verse 14, for example, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Now, here is a verse where if we uh, are not careful, we can say, oh, it's by our faith, it's by our believing that we receive the promise of the Holy Spirit. You see that? So we have these passages in the Bible that can be a little bit difficult, all right? Because we are justified by the faith of Christ. Now, let's look at Galatians 5.22, what we read there. In Galatians 5, verse 22, uh, where are you? Uh, there we are, I found it. <laughs> but the fruit of the Spirit that is, when you're saved and you're given the Holy Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit are these. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. You see that? So now we appear to have a problem, don't we? If we had only these two verses, we it, it would appear to be a contradiction because... Uh, Galatians 3, verse 14 said that we receive the Spirit through faith by believing, or that's what it appears to be saying, or um, what we read in Galatians 5, 22, that our faith is a fruit of having the Spirit already. 
And that is correct. We believe because we had the Spirit. God saved us. All right. And and, and I can prove that uh, from Ezekiel 36. Um, in Ezekiel 36, let me just read that for, for a moment. Uh, in verse, starting at verse 25 through 27, we read, Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean. Now, this is the action of God. All right, the personal pronouns here are referring to God. Uh, from all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away... Um, the stony heart out of your flesh and I will give you a heart of flesh and I will put my spirit within you there's the Holy Spirit and cause you to walk in my statutes and you shall keep my judgments and do them you see so the works the actions are following after the fact that we had received the spirit after God had regenerated us at yet after he had given us a new heart you see and so uh, that's why we read in Galatians 5.22 that faith is a fruit of the Spirit. Now, we can easily uh, reconcile this. Uh, that is, we can reconcile Galatians 3.14 uh, that we receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. That is, uh, we're, we're thinking that it's our faith at first, right? But really, it's not. It's really referring to the faith of Christ. And we can prove that by Galatians 3, verse 22. All right, we read a little later, a few verses down. Uh, notice what we read in verse 22. Galatians 3, verse 22. But the scripture hath concluded all under sin, that the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. Now, there we read of the promise, you see. Now, the promise had to do with the Holy Spirit. And it has to do with all the promises that God has with salvation, all right? And uh, we see here that that promise comes to us by the faith of Jesus Christ, all right? So, it is not by any uh, works that we do, but it is by the, the faith of Christ, now, there's one passage uh, that I will just close with, and that's in Philippians 3, 9. We read, And being found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ. There it is again. There's the genitive. The righteousness which is of God by faith. And so the faith that we are made righteous through is the Lord Jesus Christ. So we see here that in all these passages I have shown that the um, genitive has to be a possessive. It's the faith of Christ. Because otherwise you would have a problem, you see, between Galatians 3, uh, 14 and Gal Galatians 5, 22. All right, you would not be able to resolve that apparent contradiction. I say apparent because normally when there's a problem, it's because the problem lies with us because our understanding is not correct.